you ready for fall 2017's hypest Chinese zodiac based anime? Fruits basket. Fruits basket. Everyone is like, wow, you guys watching Uni Tensei? No, we watch Fruits Motherfucking Basket. Yeah. How old is that anime now? 12 years old? I didn't in fact check myself on that one either. Uh, hey there, everyone. We're Dango Deal. And today, we are going to be giving you a podcast. This is going to be a mostly audio experience. A look back into the. Well, it's not even. It's almost. Late 90s. Mid two thousands for the manga, nineteen ninety eight for the manga, and the, and the anime was in two thousand one. Th- so sixteen years ago, <laughs> as old as some of our viewers. Uh, Good lord. So, uh, generally, we would do like a review, but we're kind of reworking things because like it's kind yeah. of awkward, and also Fruits Basket is not on Crunchyroll. No, it's on uh, Hulu though. Yeah, and also it, it always it always, it's always felt a little awkward to be like yeah. Pause this video and go watch a whole season of an anime. And also, like, we didn't take screenshots while watching it because yeah. we just wanted to actually enjoy yeah, it. So. Yeah, uh, Especially this for, like, a whole season-wide review. Like, are we going to have, like, 600 screenshots? Yeah, no. We listen. take a lot of screenshots for one episode. So listen, imagine across <laughs> we take at least 150 per Love Live episode. Yeah, at, at least. Yeah. We got to get all of those different Rico faces. Yeah. So, uh, the format for this video is going to be very, very podcast-like, very, very conversational. Uh, if you want to go to the dishes, go for a walk, and you're in the commute, in your commute, in your commune? Mm, I mean, that's fair, too. I mean, that's fair, too. If you... There, you do if, you. If there's something you gotta do, feel free to kind of go and do it. Ignore the video part and just listen. Yeah, no, there won't be any, like, aside from, like, super simple things, like, this is what Fruits Basket looks like. That's fair. Uh, it's gonna be a mostly a podcast. So, uh, Kitty... Uh, oh, and we're gonna touch on spoilers. Yeah. Uh, this anime came out in two, fucking 2001. It's been a little while. The manga finished in 2006. Like. Uh, and, and if anything, I hope that this video help, gets you interested in watching it. Because uh, mm. we... Spoilers. We liked it. We really liked it. It was one of my favorite animes as a young yeah, weeb. Yeah, uh, yeah. Kitty watched it growing up. Yep. I had seen none of it. <laughs> uh, Max did not even know what it was actually about. I actually had no... Because I... I had if, no because fu- okay because flashback to one of the earliest loot animes when mm. we got the fruits basket item and you're like what the fuck is this show about yeah yeah oof, oof flashbacks <laughs> yeah uh, my only interaction with fruits basket was literally going to borders to their weep section and seeing like a fruits basket like messenger bag Rip borders and, and, and that merch had like really bad art on it like yeah. it looked like their heads were really big and not chibi but like still like human like yeah. with huge eyes and I was like oh, this looks kind of janky I did bring back when I um when my mom moved and we I cleaned out my room I did bring back one fruits basket thing uh-huh. it's a little kyo purse it's so cute Aww. I used to bring that to fanime back in my weeb days cute yeah. Uh, so so I, that was my interaction with Fruits Basket. I think I, I unfortunately I, uh, got rid of my Momiji plush. Oh, uh, that's that's unfortunate. Disappoint, disappointing. Um, maybe I'll find it and buy it back. Is, is Momiji the best boy in this fucking series? Um, Wait and find well, out. You'll have to see. I'll tell you who worst boy is. That's the easiest oh, one. Which one? The <laughs> little shit. Oh yeah, fucking hero. Hero. Yeah, yeah. He- wow. I- I can't believe you were like, oh my god, this is my favorite, I love him. And I'm like, I fucking want him dead. <laughs> I love how shitty he is. It's so great. Mm, and then in, in a story mm, full of really genuinely I'm shaking, nice people. I'm shaking pe- my head at listen, you right now. Listen, Wait a minute, today is... Today is Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, okay, yeah, I was like, it, it's so weird recording earlier. Yeah. I'm, I'm making the Pokemon video public, excuse me. Listen, Go on. Um, in a show of genuinely nice people, it kind of works to have like a fucking shithead in there. Uh, I mean, okay, okay, you're not wrong, but you shouldn't, <laughs> you shouldn't statistically validate it. Uh, you shouldn't just say that, but you're not wrong. Mm-hmm. You're not wrong. He's trying uh, to be a good boy, but he's not very good at it. Okay, okay. So, Kitty. Yep. Or should I tell, should I tell the audience what Fruits Basket is all about? <laughs> Go ahead, I'll rate, I'll rate okay. your description. Oh, dang, oh, dang, okay. Without uh, looking at the... Uh, no, 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 yeah, 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 no, no, no. Okay, Fruits go. Basket um, is a uh, shoujo story... Uh, focusing on the main character Toru, uh, Toru Honda, uh, yep. Honda, uh, as uh, her life is changed, uh, flipped upside down. Flipped up t- upside down. Uh, you can the story actually kind of believes in. Uh, it starts uh, in media res. Yeah. In the middle of things happening, and which it actually, is, which I, I, I actually really shit. like it because it actually make, it leaves you wondering. Yeah. Uh, it starts with Toru literally living in a tent in the woods. Yep. Talking to the photograph of her dead mother. Yeah. Uh, and and that's a real <laughs> grim start. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, uh, you're not wrong. Uh, but soon enough, she's introduced to the the Soma family. Mm-hmm. Uh, and one of which is a, is a Yuki Soma, which is a, one is of her, her classmates. Her is her uh, classmate. Uh, yeah. Yuki Soma and uh, the Kyo- prince. Yeah, the prince and uh, Shigure Soma. Yeah, and, and Shigure Soma who uh, comes at the end of the episode. Yeah, and, yeah, and Kyo as well. And she through a twists of fate, she ends up living with them and mm-hmm. learning about their curse. Their, their the Soma family. Curse. Every few generations, uh, children. Children are born, born with the Soma family. Uh, are born with a with a with a curse that uh, ha- has them whenever they come in contact with the opposite sex. Yeah. Or they become physically strained. They transform into one of the twelve Chinese zodiac <laughs> one of animals. The Thirteen just the Chinese zodiac uh, animals. Yeah. Oh, oof, oof, oof. Don't oof. forget about the cat. No, nobody likes. It. It's fine. The cat <laughs> got left out. Oof. Uh and I, uh, it's hilarious because we're like, oh, should we watch like current anime? And because there's there's Juni Tensei, which is also with the Chinese zodiac, and then yeah. and then he just like, can we just watch Fruits Basket? And I'm like, why not? Uh, th- did I do it good? Yep. Good yeah. And, and the story develops from the her int- uh, tourist from... interactions with the boys and and and, and the, the, and the, the Soma, Soma family. family. Yep. Uh, now I'm gonna be fucking real with you right the fuck now, okay? Mm-hmm. Just gonna throw this out there right now. Mm-hmm. I. I wasn't sure I wasn't going to like it. You were going to? No, no, no. I wasn't sure I was going to like it. Mm-hmm. When we, when it started out, uh, of course I said yes, because mm-hmm. I love you. And and, and, I, I, love and, it. and, 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 and I wasn't going to be like, no, I don't want to watch it's the stuff your weep you like. Fuck shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch my weep shit. Uh, I wasn't going to do that. And I gave it a chance. And I was absolutely, completely blown away by how really sweet and how funny. And, and also how, how real it gets. Uh, how real and just how well-rounded and effective this anime is. Like, mm-hmm. it's actually... I wish I had seen it growing up. Because mm-hmm. I feel like... it, Because like, it hits a, a few of the same notes that Round My One Half does for me. Mm-hmm. But I but I actually think it's a much more, like, well... It, it's a better told story than Round My One I mean, Half for, without fucking question. I mean, for one thing, Round One, one Half is, like, 100 episodes or something yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's seven seasons. Yeah, so... Uh, that would actually be, like, 200 episodes, but still. Uh, and... Uh, it was funny because when we finished watching it, we went through the Wikipedia and you told me like all the stuff that all the, the stuff f- that the happens first... in the manga. Because because the the ending of the anime is different from that of the manga. It actually yeah. just kind of splits. It it completely splits from one one anime verse to the manga verse. Yeah, and it's uh it's interesting. And if I just if I must talk about this right now, mm-hmm. my favorite thing about the anime, and again, as you said, it's funny. Mm-hmm. It gets real. It's um it has like the really only downside to it is like it, it's a little bit stuck in its time for yeah. use of certain terms. Yeah. Um, but really, aside from that, which is just a product of its time... And and uh, then, like, the two filler episodes. And, and the two, yeah, filler episodes that really might as well have not been there at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, aside from that, the story is very well told. It's very entertaining. The Soma family is very effective. And Toru is the nicest, best person ever. I feel right now that on the scale of good people, she is like she's the uh, number ten. She's the ten. She's a very sweet person without being like a goody two shoes or or like, feeling too like uh, like uh, shooed in. Like yeah, oh yeah, yeah, she's so nice. No 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 no, she's goofy and she makes mistakes and she, and she like uh, and and she no, messes and, up and, and she messes up and no, and no, we're not even like talking about like oh she's clumsy. No no no, like she no, she, she she has like flaws. Yeah yeah yeah, and and she also like overthinks things mm-hmm. in that very anime way, and I really appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Uh, she also has like let's be real, like Toru, maybe you should talk about. All your feelings. Your fe- you should talk about. You should yeah. probably talk about. You know, it's been less than. It's been less, less than, than a year, year since your mom passed yeah, away. Yeah, you know, after you'd already lost your dad. You wanna, Do you want to talk? talk about some? You want to talk about like how you, you're talking to your mom's portrait? <laughs> Oof, yeah. <laughs> you took your mom's portrait to the bath. Yeah, you know it's okay. It's yeah. fine. Also, the Somas are very good characters. Mm-hmm. I can't think of a single loser in that group other than Hero, but he's just an <laughs> asshole. He's just a piece of shit. So uh, I love it. Uh, literally, like, like from you know Yuki to Kyo to Shigure to Kagura to uh, Hatori mm-hmm. to uh, to Mom- Haru to, to Momiji. Uh, Who else? Uh, to, Kisa. To Kisa. Ritsu. To Ritsu. Like, they are all very good. This is a wonderful group of characters. It's a great cast. And uh, I almost feel like I wish I'd gotten more, but honestly, in 26 episodes, a lot happens. Yeah. Uh, 24, let's just say 24, because there's two filler episodes. Yeah. I mean, we get to learn a little bit more about the extra friends who also... Because uh, a bunch of anime do the thing where, like, oh, I have friends in school, but then I go into the magical world, and, and then and I then forget I about, about them. the fuck them friends. Uh, bleach. <coughs> yeah. Uh, 
Uh, so like the idea that like uh, O and Hana tag around the, yeah. and are meaningful and to the story because they're meaningful parts of Toru's yeah. life, and that is fucking like one of awesome. one of my favorite moments with them um, is actually when when um, Yuki recalls uh, the day that um, Toru's mom died because mm. he um, the teacher like comes in to get gets Toru and he's like remembering it and then Uo and Hana run after mm. her, her as well. And it's just this little memory that Yuki has, and that's like mm. one of my favorite bits about the friends is like they see something is wrong and they immediately run yeah. out of the classroom in the middle of class after her. Yeah, no, very very effective. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, I really appreciate that the anime never feels like it's just shipping. Yeah, I, I, it. I mean, like, like you can see how they were like here. Here's here's a possibility for this ship. Yeah, here's a but, possibility for this ship. Yeah, but 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 honestly, like. But it, 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 and it never felt like like too much like they were pushing the triangle. Like yeah. you can feel the triangle being there. Yeah. But like it wasn't like oh which boy is she gonna choose? Because yeah, she's like I want to be friends with everybody. Yeah. yeah. Like you could almost like like head canon Taro as Ace Aro, and it would yeah. just, it would all make complete sense. Yeah. Honestly. Uh. Now. Mm -hmm. That's all to talk about. Well, yeah. How do we tackle this, Kitty? Uh, fuck if I know. Uh, um, you wanna fucking, we talked about hot, hot, uh, Toro already. Mm -hmm. Um, I kind of want to talk about, even though it's kind of stuck in its times, I want to talk a little bit about how actually, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Gender accepting it is? Yeah. Because, like, yeah. despite the fact that it's, like, oh, opposite sex... Yeah. Like there's still a lot of like cross dressing characters yeah. and like it's not necess and it's not seen yeah. as a bad thing. Like Yuki who, you know, is canonically like he likes his his boyish mm. kind of looks. Mm -mm. He he puts on a dress in an episode. Yeah. And he's yeah. embarrassed, but he's not like dresses are for girls. Yeah. I shouldn't be wearing a dress. I'm not gonna wear this dress. He wears yeah. the dress. Yeah. Listen, Yuki wears the dress. Mm. And like Ayame is mm. is just completely Ay Ayame breaks, is so good. Just Ayame breaks so gender. Mm. No, oh, Yuki. <laughs> Yuki. Uh, Do you like my wedding dress, Yuki? <laughs> oh, I, 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 oh, I love Ayame. It's so good. And honestly, like, his relationship with Mine is, like, even though they're, like, het, it feels very queer to me. Mm. Like, that was one of my favorite, like, relationships in, mm. in the anime when I was a kid. Because yeah. it's, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like, oh, she's a girl, he's a boy, they like each other. It feels very, mm. like, balanced and they take care of each other and it's very, yeah. like, like, she's accepting of all of his, like, quirks and he's accepting mm. of her quirks yeah which yeah. i really like um but yeah no like they actually tackle gender pretty I, well I, and, despite I, it being from yeah. the early 2000s yeah no no see see, see you know why because mm. it was a female mangaka mm. that, like like ranma touches on that as well and yeah. it's never it's ne like like uh, like in Rama, it's never seen as a bad thing, mm -hmm. and and really, like the only reason why it becomes a problem in Rama one one half is because Rama himself mm -hmm. is thinking in the in the mindset of like like oh no social expectations, and it actually it makes sense for him because like he's torn between being mm -hmm. in a female and a male body yeah. at the same time. Mm -hmm. So he goes, no, I gotta be a man, yeah. and you gotta be a man too, even mm -hmm. though you're wearing a dress. Yeah, and then when things kind of like fall apart, it's just kind of like oh, this is all just nonsense, isn't it? Fair. But yes, yeah, female ma mangakas are really good at fucking nailing that. Pretty much, it, yeah. See, it's almost as though when you don't have that whole toxic masculinity thing, mm -hmm. you can just be open-minded about things. You can be things. open about gender. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, let's let's go over the characters, I guess. Because mm -hmm. I just wanted to bring but, that up before. No, 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 no. I, 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 I think it's a really good point. And honestly, mm -hmm. like... It's, uh, it's surprising yeah. looking back on it. Yeah. Like, there's... Like, listen... We tried to watch some Fushigi Yugi, and I know the um, the anime feminist website is doing like a rewatch of Fushigi mm. Yugi, and that shit is not gender no. friendly. <laughs> like, like let's be real. Like Noriko, you know, being a boy but also a girl and liking the the emperor is like seen as like a joke. Unfortunately, mm. like Yuatase is one of those female uh, mangakas that does uh, not get it right. Yeah, unfortunately, true. but like rewatching this, it doesn't feel yeah, yeah. like like two. 2000s, if mm. you know what I mean, or 290s. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like a little ahead of its time, it, kind of. Yeah, 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 and especially for Ritsu. Yeah, especially yeah, yeah, for yeah, Ritsu. Yeah, so, so, some of the Ritsu stuff, and also the Yama stuff, hit a lot of yeah. uh, really home like, for me. Like, Ritsu, unfortunately, is like, Kyo gets angry and is like, why do you still dress like a girl? Yeah, yeah. But, like, other and, than and, that one yeah, line, yeah. it's very accepting, because Toru's like, oh, you looked yeah. very pretty as a girl, I really liked you yeah. in that dress yeah. and stuff, and she's very accepting of Ritsu. Yeah. 
Toru's so. the best. Toru, Toru oh. honestly influenced oh. my oh. behavior quite a lot. Mm. She influenced a lot of how I saw the world. Mm. Right, can we, can we talk shit. about... <laughs> I'm like, ah, isn't that sweet? Can we talk about how Kyo just like encapsulates like male toxicity? Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, it, it's almost as though if, if only the culture you lived in had enabled you for other ways to deal with your stress and grief other mm -hmm. than just, I don't know, wanting Being to angry beat and fighting people, people and yelling. Yeah, yeah. Like I never liked Kyo as as a kid. Oh no! Oh no! Your your friend your friends who are not watching this video. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, looking back on it, like n now rewatching the anime, I'm like, I understand. Like, and Kyo gets a lot more development in the manga because mm. he is unfortunately the canon ship with uh, yeah. Toru. Oh Spoilers. no! What? Spoilers. Oh, I. Sh I it's okay because I'm sure that 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 Yuki gets a really good pairing Woo! and she totally does in command. Woo! Twenty six volumes in. Only sixteen. It's fine. It's, yep, Out yep, of twenty six. Yep, she comes, yep, she comes in. Twenty five volumes in. Oof. Yuki's got to yeah. listen. Okay, we're not just gonna be like you know you know what Yuki ends up with Kagura. <laughs> Oh well, that would be stupid anyway. But I can't. I can't believe. Uh, what's the name of the of the the author, the mangaka for uh, Fruits Basket? I don't know. She never did anything else. But let me go uh, look it up. Isn't she doing like a sequel? Yeah, she is doing a sequel right now. That's weird. Uh, Natsuki Takaya. I can't believe that she fucking sandbagged Kagura in the manga. <laughs> wow! Pull out a pistol and just shot her in the face. Yeah, I don't even fucking remember. Yeah, Kagura what loves Kagura. Kyo. Understands, understands him, welcomes him, mm -hmm. literally opens her heart to him. Nah, though, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck she that. loves him too much. F f I'm fucking. I'm f f drawing, drawing my sword. I'm like, Shh, let's fight. fight. Let's go. Yeah. Protect Kagura. Uh, oh, you're talking about Kyo. Oh, uh, talking, like, uh, talking about. I, I get. Uh, do you want to start like, with like the actual order of characters, or just? Yeah, we're already talking about Kyo, and then we'll go back. Yeah, and, yeah, you're right. Yuki. Sorry. Uh, that's okay. Um. Uh, I do understand Kyo a, a lot, like, I oh, understand yeah. where he comes from, mm -hmm. it's just, like, not my favorite type of character. Uh, no, 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 uh, absolutely, okay, okay, listen, mm -hmm. uh, I understand, okay, uh, we should probably explain some things. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, in this one, my family, uh, there is 12 Chinese zodiacs, plus, plus one. Plus the cat. Because uh, in the original myth, the idea was that the rat tricked the cat into not showing up to the party. Showing up a day late. Yeah, so yeah. So that everyone uh, and, 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 got to the party. And, and, and in this one, my family, there's... Mm -hmm. 13 children. Mm -hmm. One of them who is cursed uh, with, with, with being the cat and also having this other super bizarre form for whatever random reason. It's okay. It's part of the and, 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 and in the Soma family, that, that one child is always an outcast. Yeah. Like uh, even even amongst the outcasts of the Soma family, it's yeah, like extra outcasted. Yeah. yeah. Like like literally don't talk to them, don't be friends with them. So that's yeah. kind of led to Kyo kind of being pushed out of the family and spend yeah. his whole life feeling like he doesn't belong anywhere. Yeah. Um, and being and, very and, bitter. Yeah. And, and listen, that's fine. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's completely fine. And it's a and, complex and, and, character. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah, enjoy yeah, and that. And it's understandable. Mm -hmm. Again, with you, I agree 100%. I really don't like that kind of character. Mostly yeah. because... It, uh, uh, okay, because... And not not to get real, but like mm -hmm. I've known people like that, and let me tell you something: that people don't turn around by themselves. No. Like that, like those characters are not prone to change. No. So for me, who I love stories where characters develop and change, mm -hmm. Kyo literally has like very little change of character. He changes a little. He he, he gets he, he learns to open up a yeah, little. But but it's it's like it's like, very it's, it's, it's like two steps forward, one step back though. Yeah. Like, it's very it's very slow, I, and he does open up, and mm -hmm. he does become sweeter. But it's still and not not to just repeat it again. Mm -hmm. But he really does kind of uh, encapsulate toxic ma masculinity. Yeah. Where it's just like, oh, no, fight now because we're men. Yeah. Ah. But I, I do like towards the end of the season where he is like opening up, he makes yeah. leak soup for Toru when she's yeah. sick. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, that yeah, final yeah. episode, which is really about Kyo more than yeah. anyone else, is, is like you get to see kind of his own vulnerability and, yeah, you know, which uh, is, uh, which uh, is uh, nice. Yeah, it yeah. does suck that it comes at the end of the, se the series, yeah. but or the series of yeah. the anime, but... Again, like I said, you get more you get more in um in the manga. Yeah. So I think Which I, you have read. Which I have read most of. It's been a long time since I yeah. read the ending. Yeah. It's since been, it came out. It's been a whole ten it's been ten years. Uh, Eleven years. Uh in regarding to Kyo, um he no, no, yeah, I be pretty much encapsulated my feelings, honestly. Like you've wrapped everything up uh, mm -hmm. in a nice little with a nice little bow in it. Mm -hmm. Interesting character. He gets development. I'm not gonna take that away from him. Mm -hmm. he, I just it, like 
and, and maybe not... in my own experience, like he reminds me of those people. Yeah. And I'm just like, ugh, 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 ugh. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Whereas unfortunately. Prince Yuki. Prince Yuki, though. Fuck, I, I loved Yuki as a kid. Yeah, that was your ship, huh? That was, it was, it was Yuki Toru. Yep. Yuki Toru, yeah. Like, I, I thought oh, Kyo on, on, was, was on, too, honestly? like, mean to Toru yeah. to deserve her. Yeah, you know what? I, if I had to, me- to make one of the core boys... Mm-hmm. It would be Yuki Toro because Yuki is like, so, like he he's... opens up like re- cause you can almost feel that like all he's ever wanted in his life was someone to open up with, and mm-hmm. the instant he get he gets it with Toro, he just it spills his heart yeah, out. He yeah, shows her secret yeah, base within l- like two episodes. L- l- literally, 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 yeah. It's like yeah, and I relate to that a lot. And he's mm-hmm. a very sweet guy. Yeah, and and, uh, and the whole like you know like gender thing like that again like it hits mm-hmm. very strongly with me. And unfortunately, so. he gets super sidelined in the manga where yeah. like. I think I told you this where he ends up seeing Toru as a mother figure. Uh, and I'm like, mm, no. And I understand oh because his mother didn't, was like super, over, not uh, super like distant from him because like she she didn't want to deal with that shit. So she yeah. was just like, here, go hang out with Akito. And he's like, mom, he bullies me. I'm like, fuck <laughs> it. Go hang out with Akito. Mom, b- but I hate Akito. Fuck it. Uh... Yeah. Going out with your cousin. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Like, like and, I, you know, okay, okay. I'm just gonna say this right now. Mm-hmm. I am so glad that I don't have to read the manga because the anime wrapped up so neatly. It really did. A- and as you explained, it kind of goes downhill in the manga. Yeah. I mean, like, maybe I'm, I don't own all the volumes, but I'm planning to eventually get them all. Maybe I'll do a big reread and mm. I'll see if it has more merit than I, than my memory gives it that, credit that, for. That, that's true. That's but, true. But as my remembrance and as my reading the Wikipedia summaries of all the manga go, I'm like, mm, yeah, no, I kind of, I really kind of prefer the anime. I, it, it wraps up in a very mm-hmm. nice and clean way. That's... Other than never getting to see Rin, who's one of my favorite Zodiac members. Yeah, yeah, that's the horse. The, that's the horse. Yeah, you don't horse. get to see her in uh, the anime along with the rooster, but mm. you get to see everybody else. So. Yep, yep, yep. I take mm. that. Yuki, love Yuki. Uh, uh, love Yuki as well. Yeah, he's uh, great. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, should we talk about Shigure? Yeah, boy. It's Duck Boy. Duck boy. I, I love Shigure. I fucking love him. He's so good. He's so good. Yeah. And also, like, he's I, a goof, but he can be serious. Yeah. yeah. But he's also caring, but no, he's also, like, that's, like, one of my favorite. Hella gay. Like, I, it's funny because, like, he's supposed to be this kind of, like, like, like dad, like father figure to the to the boys. Or like uncle, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, but but he ends up being like really just like an old an old cousin, really. Yeah, he's like an older cousin. Yeah, that they, they he's, he's a fuck. He's like fucking goof. Yeah. And I love that he's also a writer, and yeah. he fucking never turns his work in on time. <laughs> so good, and he tortures his poor, his poor editor. editor. I know. I love that. I know it's hilarious. I I fucking love it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, Shigure is very good. I especially love his relationship with Hattori and Ayam. On yeah. The I I love that shit. When you can feel that there was a generation before the main cast got together. Yeah, it's like it, that. You know, again, feels like in media res, yeah, as you said. Yeah, like, yeah, and, yeah, and it gives the, the story uh, didn't start with this yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, like like the this world didn't start on page one. Like there are mm-hmm. people before with their own stories. Yeah. Uh, one story that does this effectively as well, uh, and it's an American comic called Lock and Key. That mm-hmm. is L O C K E. Uh, I listened to the audiobook version of the comic, and, and and it does a thing where, like, it's following kids moving into the town of Lovecraft in Maine. Mm. Oh, did I mention it's written by the son of Stephen King? It's fine. Mm. Uh, it's very well written, though. And, like, as the thing develops at the end of the first arc, you're like, oh, it's not even about the fucking kids. It's about the, the, the uh, their, their dad's generation and mm-hmm. the things they did affecting them now in the present. And there's a character that literally says the line of, like, you know, people make this misconception that like the story always starts with them when it <laughs> yeah. never does. Yeah. And and, and I carry that with me because it really like it, it gave me that yeah. And Fruits Basket touches that with uh, mm-hmm. Higure Ayame and Hatori. Yeah. I fucking love getting flashbacks of them as teenagers. I know it's really. It cute. gives me life. Yeah. It gives me life. <laughs> I think there's more of that in the manga, which I love. <laughs> Ayame being like, being like, I am so sorry. I will fuck all of them. <laughs> Student Council. I will take all of their Bestow penises. Bestow all of their love onto me. Yeah. Oh my god. So they must not be tempted by the red light district. Yeah. It's yeah. So good. Oh my god. Yes. Ayame, take... you're being very serious today. Will, Don't worry about it. I, I got this. I will take. <laughs> and Hatori's like. Fuck. <laughs> and then Hattori's like, don't worry, I settled the situation for you. I f- <laughs> Hattori, don't worry. I, fi- I got this. I got this. <laughs> I fucking love how ha- uh, Shigure mm-hmm. and Ayame are like fucking like super gay. Mm-hmm. And then Hattori's off to the side like, oh like, god, what did I get myself no. into? That's, and then they're like, yes! Yeah, yeah yes! <laughs> that's us. That's you and me, honestly. It's fair. Yes! Am I Yame and are you Shigure? Probably. Probably. It's ironic, but yes. Yeah. Hmm? It's ironic because Shigure is the writer, but... Yeah. No, well, well, I... 
Y- yes, mm-hmm. but like, uh, and it's funny because Ayama is all about making clothes and you love making oh, cosplay. Well, did cosplay, yeah. Uh, but I, I feel like personality wise, like you're more like Shigure. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a big goof. Yeah. I don't yeah. know, necessarily know when to be serious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? I've never experienced that ever living with you. Blink, 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 blink. blink. Yeah. I love Shigure. Um, also, seeing Shigure in the final episode wearing a suit. Yeah. Like, 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 Whenever like, he wears a suit, I'm like, yeah, oh. Yeah. No, because you, you know he's being serious. Mm-hmm. With his hair slicked <laughs> yeah. back, and I'm like. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if this was an American version, whenever he's at home, he was just wearing big ass fucking pajamas. Yeah. Or like a robe or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Big ass fucking pajamas. That's like, too. It was like, hey, just chilling here. Hey, kids. Have uh, a school. Stop breaking my fucking doors. Stop breaking down my doors. Uh, uh, fun fact also about Shigure, he was my husbando back in the day. Oh, uh, yeah. He's a good husbando. Yeah. I, I, lo- I, he's up there for me. I really love him. Uh, Yuki, Kyo, Shigure. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next boy that is canonically introduced would be... Or the next Zodiac member. Or uh, the next Zodiac member would be, would be Kagura. Kagura! I, uh, Ooh, unfortunately, he's it, super sad. Oh, oh uh, okay. Just, uh, Kyo is the cat, uh, mm-hmm. Yuki is the rat, mm-hmm. uh, Shigura is the dog, and Kagura is the boar. Yeah. Very and, stubborn, which yeah, very I stubborn. kind of love. Uh, I like her design. I love that she's older than Kyo. Yeah, I like that she's like older than... Yeah. A little bit older than them. Yeah, I, I, there's a lot of age play. Mm, mm, that's no, nothing no, <laughs> like no. I thought it would. I uh, don't mind the trash trucks outside. They're, they're coming to it's get us. It's trash day. It's garbage day. Garbage day. See you there. Sorry, I'm having... It, I'm trying to do the, um, from Dr. Horrible's Incredible. I've been cool. singing that in I've been singing that in the back of my head for like all day. I was, when we mentioned uh, of, of uh, rent, but horse, but horse, uh, but yeah. horse, yep. but horse. Your That's eyes fair. across the nation that they're a brat of sin. That's you got your application that you just sent in. It needs valuation, so let the games begin. That's not uh, a good a show. show force. That's not a, a good murder movie. Of, uh, yeah. Oh, no, okay. Real talk right now. <laughs> uh, I like the music from there. Yeah, the music. As, as time has passed, I've actually grown to super dislike the writing in that. It's super, bad. No, it, I didn't yeah. like it when it came no, out. No, no, yeah, no, no. See, see, that was that was back then before mm. I had my whole awakening. Oh, your Tamagotchi's dying. Oh wow, that that was a lot of poop in the room. That was a lot. Of, that was a lot of poop. Clean up your goddamn poop. I have been. I edited. I woke up at six in the morning today, and I edited videos. And then I made you pancakes for breakfast. You did. That woke me up. It was very nice. Why did you have to make that be like? Um, and you had the gal to wake me no, up. No, I woke up to the smell of pancake. Oh, I'm glad. And then I was like, I was coffee. And then yeah. you walked to the living room, and I'm like, Good morning. Yeah. There's food. I made food you, and coffee. By the way chocolate chip pancakes by the way we are adults yep yep so we can eat whatever the fuck we want <laughs> yeah that's right give me that whole you, cake you, you, you don't boss me around mom <laughs> oh, oh shut up kitty <laughs> <laughs> having an emotional moment shut uh, up kitty yeah yeah it's fair uh yeah um what were we talking about kagura oh no actually uh, um dr horror will sing along oh more. yeah uh the writing it that bad. sucks it actually super bad the music it's great. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, like, a, a, literally... Laundry Day is a great song. Laun- Laundry Day. Uh, um, the, 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 the first song for uh, for uh, Captain Hammer. Yeah. Um, and then the, the, the duet uh, I, where they're singing, like, similar yeah. Sans- yeah. lines um, side to side. I, I, I can't believe my eyes. Something like that. And then, and then the, like, get ready to beat the bad guy yeah, song. Uh, yeah, it's Brand New Day. Yeah, I that love that really song. Good. Uh, if anything... Uh, yeah, yeah, and then like the song about like the basically the, the vignette song for time passing. Yeah, and how everyone wants to bang Captain Hammer. Yeah. Also, Captain Hammer is Nathan Fillion, and I love Nathan Fillion. Yeah. Um, Written by Joss Whedon. So. Yeah. No. So of course the the that one female character, the one female character has the to die. singular female named character. Yeah. See, see, like like I I think you can tell the quality of a male writer by their ability to add their ability more. to write female characters yeah, that don't die. Or aren't completely about pregnancy yeah. and having children. Yeah, or, or falling why, in love with the main character. Which, it, it's almost as though they have internalized those are all women's functions in storytelling. Yeah. And mo- mothers die. Mm-hmm. Uh, w- women fall in love with the main character and mm-hmm. produce offspring. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and, and lesbians and die. die. And lesbians die because they have no purpose in romantic effect with the male characters. We just got real real here. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we're writers. So, so like, like we, we, we look at this shit, we call it out because it's fucking bad. Get and, out of here. Yeah. Don't don't even talk to me about Age of Ultron. I'll kill, yeah. I'll kill all of you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that movie is so bad. I've never seen it. Yeah, don't. <laughs> we 
can you can skip that one. We'll just read a wiki summary and then we'll go to the next Avengers. <laughs> I love the, sh- the like the shit eating grin face you made while you were saying that. I love it. I love it. I that love it. bad. Yeah, no, I believe it. I believe it. We should watch Civil War again though. God, I love Civil War. Huh? God, I love Civil War. Yeah, that one was pretty I, good. Actually, I bought that one. I need to buy Winter Soldier because I love that one too. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Oh, that's Fuck, sad. I'm dying. That's sad. Anyway, that's sad. That one also got a little ruined at the ending, but it's okay. Uh, Winter Soldier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, just... not Winter Soldier. Uh, Civil War. Because Bucky had to be oh, frozen. Oh, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, they had to f- fuck freeze off. Him up. They had to freeze him up. Let them be gay. Wait, 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 no, no, no. That was Winter Soldier, Kitty. No, that was that was Civil War. Was it Civil War? It was the first after credit scene. Oh, that's right, because he comes back in the Civil War. Because then we introduce uh, Black Panther. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I haven't seen the trailer for that, but I heard it's hype. I heard it's hype too. Uh, I'm happy for the new Disney prince. Yeah. Honestly, Disney hasn't put up any good princes. Yeah. I mean, recently. Dis- Disney. Didn't wow, he... we're really sorry for the trash outside. I'm sorry. Didn't he do an actually pretty good lately? Like, their Aladdin cast, other than the added white male other character, was pretty good. Their Lion King cast, It did solid. actually pretty good. It actually is pretty good. Black Panther movie, yeah. solid casting. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the prince casting, but Beyonce in <laughs> fucking, mm. fucking Lion King. Nice. Man. Fuck. Yeah. We're good. so fucking blessed. <coughs> Anyhow... <coughs> Let's uh, we Kagura. just talked about Kagura. Yeah, she's good. She's, she's good. good. I wish she wasn't so sidelined. Yeah, but yeah she gets super sidelined. She, and pushed she aside. gets, I, unfortunately, I, that very '90s anime girl thing where she loves the main character so much. So of yeah. course she's got. She can't end up with him. Yeah. Uh, it's a thing where, like, if you immediately show affection for someone, you will not get them because the whole story is about stealing some of your feelings. Yeah. Uh, additional to that, I actually I dislike the fact that she couldn't fix Kyo's curse for stupid bullshit reasons. Yeah. Also, I'm not gonna lie to you, Kyo's. It's because curse kind of comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Like, like I wish he had been like, sh- like foreshadowed earlier. Like, 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 like. Let's say like Akito or a shitty member of the Soma family is like, yeah, don't spend time with a cat. He'll, you know, you'll, you'll catch something from him. I mean, like, um, it's it's foreshadowed very slightly when, um, actually, this is like too early. Al- this is like too late almost when, mm-hmm. um. We're meeting the master's uh, mm. grandfather, who was the last cat. Yeah, but I, again, it's that, too that, late. That, that, that's, that's episode twenty-five. Yeah, it's it's too it's a twenty-four, I think, but it's too late at that point. No, Kitty, it's absolute, it's absolutely episode twenty-five. No, because ep- a- episode twenty-six, like, it's literally is half, in, raining. Is half rain? No, episode twenty-six is half rain, half meeting with Akito. Yeah, 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 but but it starts with meeting the master. Or oh no no no. no. No, twenty four ends with Akito and the master being like, "Yeah, no, you must do the thing." Yeah, and then and then he does the thing. Yeah. No, you're right. Never mind. I, yeah. I I I back down. It's all good. It's all good. The art of the back down. Fair. Anyway, Kagura. She's uh, good. Yeah. No. Yeah. I wish I she got wish, more. Yeah. Uh, I wish. Like, why can't her love fix? It's because Kyo. Kyo doesn't accept her love like an ass. Well, then maybe it's his yeah, fucking maybe, problem. Maybe it's his curse. He's uh, the what's the next character we introduce, Kitty? Eh? Uh, is it? I think it's. I think it's Moe. No, yeah. is it Haru? No, it's Haru? Momiji then Haru. Because Momiji, then, then Hattori, then Haru. Yeah. yeah. Momiji! Momiji! Best boy! He is a good boy. I fucking love Momiji. He Momiji is, such a is good boy. the bunny. Yeah. And he is the best boy. Yeah. I fucking love Momiji. He's cute. He's adorable. He's, he's funny. He's also serious. He's funny. And, he and he's also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he has a really he serious has, moment. He has a, about, a couple of serious yeah. moments in the anime, which yeah. is really like. It, <laughs> yeah. It's very yeah. good coming from the very yeah. silly fun character. Yeah, yeah. it hits yeah. home yeah. a that, lot. That, that, that's that's the that's the twist right there. Is like mm-hmm. when because it, it it builds into, into a, a false sense of security. It's like yeah, Momiji's never gonna talk about how it's like oh your mom died. Oh, that's pretty good. My mom doesn't know I exist <gasps> and will never know about it because we erased her memory. Yeah, oof. and if she ever knows, then she'll probably yeah she'll probably have a mental breakdown. Or, yeah, oof, oof, yeah, oof, oof. oof. And she's much I, happier without me this, no. being her child, and that it's also, like ooh. I I really love Momiji because f- for the first like times you meet Mom- you meet Momiji, you're like, huh, this kid is funny, and then <laughs> and then you're like, ah, he wants to to, to spend uh, stay in the same room as Ta- Toru. That's Tor- or cute. Or he wants to bathe with Toru. That's, That's so cute. cute. And then How you're like, is he? H- how old are you? Oh, oh, no, you're entering fo- high school next year. You're a year younger than her. Oh. Oh. Uh, but I don't think he was perving though. No, he wasn't. No, he's, he's, just, he's pure. He's a small Also, child. he wears the cutest clothes ever. Yeah. yeah. Let him wear a girl's uniform. And you, they did. And they did. 
Other than the skirt, he wears shorts, which yeah. fit him a little that, better. That's act- so. It actually fits him totally perfectly. Yeah. I fucking love Mummy Jane. He is my favorite boy. He is such a good boy. He is such a fucking good boy. And he has so many emotional moments in the anime that, like, really hit home. Do you don't have anything else to say about Mummy Jane before we talk about Hattori, who Hattori. has... Hattori! Who, holy... F- okay. He was one of my other favorites as a no, kid. He, he's very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I came from a pretty shitty family. You know that family that, like, like... Oh, like, you know that family where there's, like, fucking, like, seven, like, siblings, and they all have, like, fucking, like, five children each? Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like a, not a feud. Mm. I was gonna say triad. That's not really, we're not a, we're not the mafia. Mm. But it kind of works like that. They meet every fucking weekend, and they talk, and then, like, there's the gossip, and then there's the members of the family that are, that are, that have more, like, what, what am I, more social power, uh, uh, uh currency than mm-hmm. others. Yeah. You know? Uh, so I, I kind of lived in that environment, and let me tell you something, uh, I wasn't welcomed. Uh, my family, my side of the family wasn't welcomed, and they were assholes. So, like, seeing Hattori mm-hmm. being, like... The very serious uh, yeah, doctor. But, but he's stuck in there. Mm-hmm. Like, I got out of that shit, but yeah. he's stuck in there. He did not only give his eye... Literally, to the family, to the yeah. family but he, he, he gave he, up his happiness, his happiness, his, his fiance, the love of his life, yeah, and and honestly, and like, his his like his time, honestly, yeah. and, and so like, much of his time and, is dedicated uh, to the family, yeah, and I don't know how to phrase this other than like I look at him sometimes and I'm like, like his uh, his armor is like eggshell mm-hmm. thick, you yeah. know, like, like I almost feel like the instant like someone like Toru wraps her arms around him, he'll just fucking crack because mm-hmm. like. Uh, like I, I see so much suffering in him and yeah. the fact that he kind of like is forced to work as kind of like Hattori's like, you know, uh, Akito. Akito's right hand man mm-hmm. and, and like he lives for them he's always looking after them shows mm-hmm. up whenever they need anything mm-hmm. and like that's a fucking tough ass place to be oh and by the way he is the the, um, the, um, dragon. the, the dragon and he takes the form of a seahorse because mm-hmm. that's the closest we got Yeah. Uh, I was like <laughs> what, what about a Komodo dragon like, that's that's too cool. Yeah, he has uh, to be uh, something no, 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 dark. And, and let's be real, like the mangaka, and no one knows how to draw animals, so yeah. there was no way that we're gonna draw a Komodo dragon. <laughs> Listen, I know I made a manga all about the Chinese zodiac, <laughs> but I can't, but draw, I can't draw, animals. draw animals. It's so true. She can't draw animals, it's, and, it's and, great, and the animus honestly. like just shrugs her shoulders. It's like you know whatever. That, yeah, that's why like uh, fucking uh, Ritsu only appears as the monkey once and doesn't move. <laughs> yeah, cause oof, oof, they don't know how to yeah. drum animals, you guys. No, it's fine. Uh, yeah, no Hatori. His background story is fucking sad. It's sad and, as and, hell. And I love how like, like Toru, like, like that's what a trigger is. Mm-hmm. She literally says something, and then he's like, like, oh no, time for a tragic time flashback. Time for a very long flashback. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, that's, you know, what happens, uh, uh, what, what do you call it when the snow melts? Mm, or what what happens when the snow melts? Yeah. It becomes spring. It becomes spring. Yeah. Oof. 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 That's, yeah, that's one of the other saddest ones that uh, yeah. hits home. I, uh, I do appreciate that he kind of does have that group of support in the for, form of a Yama and Shigure. Mm-hmm. And even, even though he's not always, like, happy with them yeah. and they're, yeah. they're always no, no, joking. It, it, like, I, I feel like he hides it, but he fucking loves it, though. Because mm-hmm. there is no way that he would still, like, hang out with them or he would still, like, be like, come on, Ayame, let's go home if he didn't <laughs> yeah. fucking love them in his heart. Yeah. Or fair. if they didn't make him feel welcomed and, mm-hmm. and cared for. So, uh, Q yeah. in, like fan art of of like Higura no uh, Hattori crying and then Shigura and Ayame just like hugging him Aww. I can picture it in my in my, in my head right now oh bless with, they're all, only on his with his good eye though the wrong eye yeah I, I, I just one eye yeah but you're on the wrong eye yeah. do you think the other eye can still cry oh yeah they can the, the tear ducts are a separate thing than the oh, eye yeah <laughs> why, why, did, why did I think that the tears came from the eye? Like, the eye starts to sweat. <laughs> I mean, eyes do sweat, but... Do they? I'm pretty sure. Oh, dang. I had no idea that eyes sweat. I'm pretty sure they Sweaty do. Sweaty eyes? Sweaty eyes. Oh, no, I've got the sweats. Oh, Lord. All right, we got to move this along. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I know we've been here for a while. So after... Um, uh, we got Hattori. Haru, Hatsu Haru. Uh, he doesn't do a lot, but it, I appreciate him. I also, really like Hatsu Haru. Product, product of its time, you have regular Haru, and, and then Black, Black Haru. Haru. Oof, oof. Uh, I, see, see that, that, that's when he grabs uh, yeah, a can of grease, and then he just no. puts it on his face. 
It's not that. It's not that bad. No, it's not. No, uh, Haru is the cow, and he and ca- he has a white side and a black side and a black side, like cows have spots on them. And mm-hmm. the white side is very passive and not and, very assertive and very friendly at all. And... Very friendly, very slow, kind of like a cow. It's mm-hmm. like, hey guys, what's going on? Yuki, and then, it's nice to see oh, you. Hi there. And then. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and then, and then when he and then, turns black, as he, they say. Yeah, or he, yeah, he he goes black, or mm-hmm. he turns black. He becomes very very aggressive. aggressive. He wants to fight. Yeah, and that sounds really bad when we say it out loud. But yeah. I'm sure that in Japanese they had like it's... fucking no context for it, or yeah. you know, you yeah. know, a, a product of its time. At its core, though, he's a a character of two polarities, mm-hmm. and uh, I I liked. He wasn't in there a lot. No, he gets a lot more in the manga because. Um, he is, um, he and Rin are in a relationship, so once we introduce Rin, we get a lot more of, like, his mm. side of the story. Yeah. But in the, in the anime, he doesn't get much to do, but I do really enjoy his presence whenever he's on screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like, the, like, uh, had to, uh, uh, the Haru and Mamiji mm-hmm. join the school! Yeah, because they're and both we, a year younger. And we never see them <laughs> again. Uh, oops. Uh, my other favorite thing about Hatsu Haru is a joke that I never got as a child. Oh, yeah! Yeah. The joke of, um, uh, uh, is his hair natural? Uh, uh, and how do we prove that? Yes, because, like, the, the school the school council uh, president yeah. is like, like, Mamiji, you can't wear a girl's uniform. And you, why do you dye your hair? Oh, Hatsu Haru has white hair. White hair with black, uh, like... Under it, naturally. Under it. Like, like an undercut, but except there's no undercut. Uh, it's fine. Uh, and the person is like... It's like, there's it's, no way you would be able to convince me that that is your natural hair color. And, and then so Hatsu Haru grabs him by the hair. collar, drags him into the bathroom. And then, like... You hear, like... Fl- flushing. I think yeah, you hear yeah, a flush. Yeah, and then like five seconds ha- pass. Five awkward and, and, seconds. And then walk he out. comes back out and he's like, some things the nature just can't explain as he takes off his glasses. Yeah, yeah. and then like the entire cast except Momiji Ex- go no, like... except Toro and Momiji. Yeah, and then... Are like, like, Toru, Momi- they... Isn't Momiji like, like, what happened? I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... They're like, he didn't. He did. did. And Do- as, a, as a child, I was like, did he show him his armpits? <laughs> oh, pure kitty. Pure, pure, pure child. Yep. Yeah. Um, no. Um, we're pre- we're so all pretty sure that was not his armpits. The carpet matches the, the, the drapes. The drapes. Apparently it does. Apparently it does. It's the thing it's like both colors. Or like yeah, a, like like no, no, right no, on no, top. No, 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 and, 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 and then and then like the nestle for the for the eh is like black. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, let's, like, let's never talk about this subject ever again. I do like that, like, um, all of the Soma families have kind of weird hair, and they all have to deal with it in their own way. <laughs> in their own way. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not you, talking you, about. You, oh, oh, you didn't mean down there. Oh. No, I did not. Yeah. I meant yeah. on their head. Is there anything else you want to say about Hatsuhara? I really like him. Again, he gets a lot more in the manga, so he doesn't really have much to do in the anime. But mm. he gets that whole episode with him and Yuki, and I wish they'd explored that more. But mm. I don't even know if they do in yeah. the manga. Is Ayama next? I think so. Yeah, because because after this it's just got the hot Ritsu, springs, uh, Kisa, a uh, hero. Kisa and a hero. Yeah. I feel like I'm missing somebody. No, maybe I'm missing a. Uh, okay, okay. Listen, okay. I've got. Okay. I've also got. Yeah, the yeah you also up. have the power of the internet. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm gonna talk about Ayama real quick. That's uh, fair. Ayama He's is Kyo's great. older brother, who's about the same age as Yuki's uh, Shigure. older brother. Yuki, excuse me. Uh, uh, about the same age as uh, Shigure, mm-hmm. uh, and Ayame is the serpent, and he is mm, the character who kind of sounds a little bit like this. Oh, Yuki, my dearest brother. Mm. Oh, how I love you so. And he, um, he's very like uh, fabulous and very bombastic, and I really like his character. And all he wants in the world is t- for his little brother to understand him and to befriend him. Yeah, because he he fucked up when um, they were kids and, yeah. and didn't really want to get close to and, Yuki. And- and again, and this anime, a mistake. And like, nails getting real because, like, that's super relatable. Yeah. I said a really shitty thing when I was young, and, and it I, totally I, scarred you. The one time he sorry. tried to open up, I yeah. said something horrible. Yeah. And, and, and I've and, been dealing with it ever since. Yeah, and that's super relatable, and I mm-hmm. love seeing, like, Ayama's struggle. But Him, I also love seeing Yuki's struggle and yeah. trying to accept his brother. Yeah. It's so it, good. This show is so good. Ugh. I really loved this show. I it know. was really good. It's really good. I'm really glad you showed it to me. I'm glad. Aww. But yeah, I love the episode uh, where they yeah. go to Ayame's shop yeah. and Yuki is trying so hard to understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. And he's like, so you make outfits then 
for people and he always like well yeah, yes of course any yes. Mm, any yes. fantasies i can make real <laughs> and, then you get and then like, he's like oh that's, god it's like, it's like please <laughs> kill me now i i want to die oh, but also i'm trying my best oh that's so, it's so I fucking good love this show it's so good yeah and then so ayame's good. relationship with uh mine as well i really like who's his mm. uh his assistant. Yeah. She's really cute. I wish you'd gotten a little more, but again, it was introduced so late, so it's okay. Yeah. She gets a little bit more in the manga, and I believe they do end up together. Oh. Which makes sense. Interesting. Yeah. I believe, like, when, that, that's when the curse is lifted, uh. you see them, like, hugging. Oh, yeah, yeah, You see yeah, Ayame yeah. crying and her yeah. hugging her, I yeah. believe. Her hugging him. Yeah. But anyway, but yeah, Ayame is great. Um, He's very loud and obnoxious, so... I, I love him. It makes for fun. I love him. It makes he, for he's, hilarity. He's real good. And I love, again, flashbacks to him being young. And, and still also, having the beautiful long yeah, hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I love seeing the younger versions of them, because mm-hmm. it's literally the same model face as Yuki and Kyo. Yeah. But just, like, with their hairs. Yeah, it's really cute. Uh, so, like, literally, like, just to age someone up, make mm-hmm. their faces a little bit longer and their eyes, like, narrower. Or, or big, or yeah, shorter, exactly. And that's it. Yeah. That's all you need. Uh, yeah, right. Ayame is really sure. good. Yeah, I love Ayame. Mm. Next is one of my favorites, Kisa. Kisa. I fucking love well, Kisa. Well, wait, isn't Ritsu before Kisa? No. Oh, okay. Ritsu's well, mom is introduced, and then we uh, get yeah, Ritsu's Ritsu. mom is introduced super early on, which I appreciate it. <laughs> I love Ritsu's mom. She's so great, and she totally yeah. like foreshadows, you know, what what's what Ritsu is like. Yeah. Uh, but we'll talk. We'll talk, we'll talk about, about Ritsu. On, on, Ritsu's the last yeah, one we get introduced yeah. to. So. so we have Kisa and Kisa, Hiro, which I think is kind of like a package, honestly. Yeah, Kisa is the tiger, and Hiro is the sheep or ram. The sheep or ram, yeah. Yeah. And Kisa is very young. And she's she's very she's in elementary school. Mm. She's um, very young and cute and adorable, mm. but she has her own little tragic story that we have to go through, and it it like. As someone who was bullied, it hits home. Yeah. It yeah, really hits yeah. home. The fact that, like, Kisa would just, you know, break down, and she was trying so hard, but in the end, these kids still fucking bullied her, so she did what she yeah. could and just hit all her emotions away and hit her words. Yeah. Kids are assholes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but then Toru helps her open yeah. up. Yeah. It, it, it's kind of amazing. Like, Toru's such a good person, but it never feels like, oh, look how perfect she is. Yeah. She makes mistakes. Mm-hmm. She's very, very human, and she's dealing with her own struggles. And it's amazing how, like, the, the Soma family, like, everyone is like, oh, I heard so much about her. And then, like, in turn, every time she changes them or changes yeah. their mind or changes the way they look at the yeah, world. Yeah, like, that's one of my favorite things about the hero episode is, like, what's so fucking special about you, he, he says. And, yeah. like, he actually gets to, like, realize it yeah. in, uh, and, in his and, own and, way. Uh, 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 Hiro being um, uh, Kisa's uh, brother. No. Uh, Kisa's uh, boyfriend, kind of. Wait, really? I thought that... Wait, wait, wait. They are not siblings. That's a ship. He really... He loves her. Wait! Did they go to... Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. They end up together in the manga. Because... They're, they're not siblings. The way it was presented in the in the anime was kind of like, oh, because, like, like, I saw you at home. No. And, and, like, did they, they see each other at school then? Yeah, no, well, no, they don't go to the same, like, they don't go, have the same class, but they, but they all live in the main house. Oh, weird. I thought they were siblings. Huh? No, no. Oh, oh, oh. No, that's that's why Akito oh. was outraged when he oh. was like, I love Kisa. Oh. Because Akito don't want nobody to be happy. Oh. See, that took a different context with the idea of like, you can't love, no, no not your family, mm. not nobody. That's fair too. But... Uh, okay, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, um, kind of like to build on this, like, mm-hmm. um, uh, Toro helps Kisa, of, mm-hmm. of, like, learn, talk again, open up to people again. Yeah. Uh, and that's like very sweet. So that we follow up with an episode where, where, <laughs> where uh, Hero's a fucking he's asshole. An asshole. And, and he, because he, is of course jealous that, uh, that Kisa, Kisa it, spends so much time with, with, Haru, with Toru. And, and I do actually like that a uh, hero kind of touches on the fact that like he actually like uh, was part of the problem because mm-hmm. he didn't help Kisa. Yeah, exactly. He wanted to, but he didn't know how. But that was also yeah. like not helping. And, and, and honestly, like I joke, but like his care, like the, I, I the, 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 really there's something like sweet about his character. Yeah, uh, and it's just him, like like I don't care, whatever. Yeah, and, and like, I feel like, like it's like are you gonna treat me to food or something? Uh, make it worth my time, yeah, bitch. I, I really feel like Toru's like description of him during one of those episodes is really apt. Is like he's a little boy who doesn't know how to deal with his own feelings. Uh... He's having really, really big emotional feelings for the first time in his life, and he's like what the fuck do i do <laughs> well you take her money <laughs> you, you steal her journal with her mom's picture in it yeah and then 
and then the fucking ass. your girlfriend comes and you're like, oh, fuck, I oh, guess I no. better. And then Kyo's like, I'll beat you up, kid. <laughs> yeah, Kyo's ready to fucking punch the kid. And I'm just like, do it, do it. I mean, that's fair. That, I, it'll, it'll help them help him build, build I, I also love, like, Toru's punishment for him. He's like, no, he, you're not going to get away with this scot-free. You're going to oh. have punishment. I'm going to hug you. Aww. <laughs> If really, she just wanted it. to see what what animal he was. I think uh, more than anything. Uh, but, yeah, but she was like punishment time. I love Tori. She's, she's so, so good. She's pure. She is pure. But yeah, no, I love K- Kisa. Is like one of my favorite Zodiac mm. members. She's so sweet and innocent, but she also like her struggle is very real. Like I said, mm. and Hero Hero's struggle is also pretty real because like, you know, there's times there's situations yeah that we've been in where it's like. I didn't know what to do, so I didn't do anything, and that yeah. didn't that didn't help yeah. the situation at yeah. all. There's, it's kind of the time when it's like being neutral is like a bad thing. Yeah, you have to pick a side or you have to help. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So they're both very relatable, even though Hero is a fucking asshole, and I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and and again, I really like how like all the threats in this story all are about people, their feelings, and their connections to others. Mm-hmm. It feels it's so effective. Again, like I'm I'm I, I feel I I wish I had watched this growing up because I feel like it would have really like. Help me look at things differently. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, er, really early on the story, mm-hmm. we're introduced that, that to... That mid, early yeah, midway through. Yeah, w- with Momiji going to, mm-hmm. going to the hot springs, we're introduced to the owner of the hot springs, which is a member of the Sama family. Mm-hmm. And it's this lady. This, this older this, lady. Uh, who is very intense. Mm-hmm. And it's funny because like... We're like, huh, wow, well, she's kind of annoying and intense. And then we're like, oh, wow, we we talk like that sometimes, though. <laughs> Oof. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. sorry that I made you that, oh, please. Oh, it's okay. I'll remove myself. Let's see. I've got this knife. I'll do it now. I'll remove Oof. my Oof. presence. I will not be a burden to the world anymore. Please forgive me. <laughs> Oh, and I, actually, she, she's not quite as intense as Ritsu. No, Ritsu's but... the most intense, but it's yeah. great, though. So you you meet her, and then you're reminded then... of her in one of the filler episodes. <laughs> because she gets to introduce, like, the the setting or whatever. Yeah. And she's like, oh, yeah. I'm just here I, to introduce I, the episode. I, what? You mean the episode's already started? Oh, oh no! no! Please forgive me. See, like, when we watched that, I thought, well, this is kind of annoying. <laughs> But then when we meet Ritsu, I realize this has been all a this, setup. This has all so, been a primer. Yeah, a primer. So that when Ritsu shows up, you go, Holy oh, fuck. this is why you're the way you are. <laughs> and Ritsu happens to be... The monkey. The monkey, which we only see once. It's okay because they're Kandra monkeys. It's fine. And if you could please take it away. <laughs> please hurry. Huh? Huh? What? No. Take one away. Oh, no, no, but explain, but Ritsu. Uh, I love Ritsu. Ritsu is the monkey, and um, I really like his his story, like, kind of resonates with me as well. A lot of these stories do. Like, yeah. the fact that his parents have been apologizing for him his whole life. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm sorry, he's a member of the Zodiac. I'm sorry, he dresses like a girl. I'm so sorry. And, mm. and it's also part of, like, their, their characters to say I'm sorry, so it became something that he said, too. Yeah. It kind of, you know... Shows how parents can influence their children in like yeah. bad ways as well. Yeah. Being like, you know, it you gotta stand up for yourself sometimes and stop apologizing for just being yeah. you. But yeah, no, I love I love that Ritsu's introduced as like you don't know what gender Ritsu is because yeah. the the mom is um like oh my child is a yeah of the Zodiac they, yeah as well. she never uses gender she gender never terms. which which I would like to hope is is like. Because Ritsu, you know, gender, what is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. But I think they were just, like, saving the mystery. Yeah, but, you yeah. know, I would like to hope it's a little bit of, like, you yeah. know, gender, fuck that. Yeah. G- gender is a whole sea of fuck, and you can sail those waves however you want. That's fair. And, and of course, Kyo has to be like, no, stop wearing girls' clothes, even Wait, you though you look amazing clothes, in them. Even though you look fantastic. And you're beautiful. And beautiful. And yeah. you feel more comfortable in yeah. girls' clothing. Yeah. And then, then, and then Fritz is like, it's okay, I'll just jump off the rooftop and end my life <laughs> oof, now. Oof. Yeah, yeah. Ritsu takes it a little <laughs> extreme. I love Ritsu. Which, because, yeah. Oh, it's because. Like I, I, not to get real, but like, like we don't really talk, like seriously talk like that. But it's no. like, but it's like, uh, in a sort of like facetious way, it's or like, like dark humor kind of. Yeah, way. and it's like, Kitty, I am so sorry. I've ruined everything. This is the worst. I thing will ever. sepoku yeah, myself yeah, for I will, you. Yeah, I will, I will sudoku myself. Sudoku. Yep. Yep. That's not the correct term. I'm being an... Oh, my God. I know. I know. Yep, yep. That's because I said the right term first. Yep. So okay. I will 999 puzzle myself. Oof, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I love Ritsu. Ritsu's uh, great. I wish they had been in this story for a little bit longer. Yeah, and unfortunately in the manga, we don't get much more Ritsu as far as I remember. It's okay, because in my heart, I get all the Ritsu I That's want. That's fair. 
We gotta talk about. I, uh, well, do you want to talk about the the, the master? Yeah. Okay, we're well, good. Uh, he's good. He's uh, cool. He's he trains with, everyone with uh, yeah. martial arts, which is cute. And he, uh, even like Kagura and Kyo, yeah. which I really appreciate. That it actually really uh, brings it, or Yuki brings it, and Yuki and Kyo as well. And, and Haru and really, too. Uh, yeah, and really brings them, bring connects them, which is like, it, which is a ju- big ass fucking family. Yeah, so it makes of, sense. Yeah, it, it makes sense instead of just being like this character and this character. Like, there's connections with them. You can draw like a whole diagram of them. Yeah. And uh, I, I I like the story with his grandpa. Yeah. Uh, and and and, and I, that he I, and adopts I really like, Kyo. Yeah, and I really like the idea of like like. Uh, I really like the idea of guilt, uh, <laughs> oof, oof. but, but no, like, like, yeah, like he he, he feels, feels guilty so bad for, for what, what he did to his grandpa, or like or that to he not kind of like, or, yeah. you know, he makes up for it with Kyo, but eventually does t- in, come to love him in his own right. Yeah, and of course, like I know we talk shit about Kyo, but he has that line, yeah, where like all I ever want, all I want is f- for for him to feel proud to say that's my son. Yeah, and that's of course which again this show. This, so well written. Yeah. And it, it, it punches you in the face when it has to, and it's so effective. And it's not really talked about much in the um in the anime, but in the manga, it's super heavily implied, if not canonically so, that, like, um you you see that Ma- Kyo's mom is, dies at some point, but uh-huh. um in the manga, it's heavily implied or canonical that she actually killed herself because of all the stress of, you know, not only having a child born of the Zodiac curse, but the cat. The cat, which is the one that, like, no. For, the, yeah. That is, like, doubly cursed. Yeah, who has, like, the, the triple cur- cursed. The curse of turning into a Blaziken. Yeah. A, 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 a fried Blaziken. Fried. Yeah! Uh, mm, Kentucky fried Blaziken. Mm. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. But yeah, no, I'm like, so so seeing Kyo's interactions with his master becoming like, you know, that yeah. kind of father figure that he didn't yeah. have for, I don't know what happened to his father, but it's yeah. fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. His mom killed himself. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. enough. Yeah. He, That's enough. He just got, he got, he, he, he works overseas. It's fine, kidding. Uh, Akira? Um, or do you want to touch on, on O and Hana? Yeah, Uo and Hana. Uh, Uo. Um, I really wish I... I... No, it's O. Uo. No, it's Uo. Uo? Uo, Uo? Uo Tani is her no. full name. Uo Tani. Never yeah. Mind. I really wish, and I had remembered this so vividly as a child, that uh-huh. um, Uo and Hana's um, backstories, I ha- I imagined them so vividly as anime episodes that I was surprised they weren't actually there. Ah. But they're only in the manga. You see glimpses of Uo's uh, story, how she met Toru, um, in one of the episodes where it's like, you know, uh, Uo aspired to Toru's mom, Kyoko, because she was like this this big biker gang leader yeah, yeah. and was super, super cool. Mm. And then you kind of get like a, a just a, a shot. A, a, a really of, like quick glimpse of what happened to Yeah, a, of, a, of Kyoko carrying Uo well. back and, and, you know, Toru yeah. waiting for them in their pajamas, which is really yeah. cute. You don't get anything about Hana's, which is really sad because I really like Hana's backstory. What is Hana's backstory? Um, so she... Hers is very dark and very Japanese oh. school like bullying kind of thing. Oh. So like she she's is, always is, had is these... it what happened in the previous school? Yes. Ooh. She's always had these like psychic kind of powers and people has always been afraid of her because of it. So like she um she she had thought like one at one point she was like, Oh, she thought a bad thing about somebody and something bad actually happened to them. So oh. she started blaming herself and then the other kids started blaming her as well and bullying her like Trying to burn oh. her with cigarettes, you know, oh. thumbtacks in the shoes, you know that oh, kind of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, that the yeah. very Japanese thing. Yeah, yeah, to the point where like it got so dark that you know she couldn't see the light, but she met Toru, and Toru oh. accepted her for who she was and helped her kind of like get past that and learn that you know sometimes bad things just happen. And it wasn't yeah. her fault for all of that, oh. and it's really good. And you get to see more of Hana's family in the manga because she has like a, a pretty big family. So that's why Toru was like, "Oh, I can't, I can't uh, ask ask Hana for me to stay with, for me to stay with Hana. She's got a big family to take care of and all that." Yeah. And you also get to see about Uo's family, which is just her and her dad. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, if I remember correctly, her dad's like an alcoholic and kind of gross. Oh. oh. So she has a hard time at home too. Yeah. So that's why they really like love Toru and they love they loved Kyoko because she accepted them for yeah. who they were. Yeah, Toru's mom. Yeah, Toru's mom, Kyoko. Yeah. No, I really love that. The girls, there were both still meaningful parts of the story, even mm-hmm. though we have this entire cast of magical characters in there. Yeah, that they're still uh, like still you important. know very and, important. And I love the hard. designs. Yeah, I fucking love. Uh, they're so Uo. great. Uo being the Yankee Uo. kind of design, and then yeah. Hana being very goth kind of cool yeah. looking. Yeah, again, very good designs, and of course, freaking mm-hmm. Toru is just so precious, and mm-hmm. her friends love her. And there's not a single ounce of mean spirit in this in mm-hmm. this like anime even with the girls that are like we love yuki we we have a yuki fan club and never in their minds they get the idea of like well time to poison toru's food yeah they well they're they like operation you know and de- defeat toru honda and they're like yeah. they have no idea how to do it so they're like yeah. quick go to the electric girl's house <laughs> it's the only way i know what i'm doing 
Wait a minute. Did she say my name? <laughs> oh, guys, I think I'm all right. I'm all right. She only said number two. <laughs> hey, guys, what are you worried about? <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, you mean the curse? <laughs> Oof. So good. The last member of the, of the Zodiac family. Yep, is Akito. Is none other than Akito. The, who I the thought head of the family. Had a curse, but apparently the, he, uh, his, he, his curse is that he's super sick. Yeah, he, he <laughs> has <laughs> all of the curses essentially on him. So like his body was, is so I was going to be super real. Mm. His curse is uh, it's an I- immunosystem deficiency disorder. Oof, yeah. Oof. That's that's fair too. <laughs> but no, like like he has he takes on as he says the burden of the curse. So like yeah, so he's very sickly. Yeah, he's always getting sick and he's very yeah. weak. Um, uh, he joins the school for some reason. But no, then... he doesn't join the school. Kitty, he no, he went to the school. He's he's like um he's like uh, Shigure and Ayame's age, I believe. Really? Yeah, he goes to the entrance ceremony. But then why is he at the school a random day later? No, it's at it's the day of the entrance ceremony. Is it? Yeah. I'm crazy. Yeah, you crazy. I'm crazy. He he goes to the uh, school I had no idea. to meet wow. Taro. Wow, you, you eat your veggies, otherwise you'll just not grow up at all. <laughs> Oof. Uh, but yeah, no, he... he and I, and, and I love that, like, whenever Akito is brought up in the early episodes, you can feel the tension yeah. of, like, Akito. Yeah. Oof, Akito. Yeah, it really only brings to show that big families are, are no good. Yeah. They're no good. No good. Uh... So in the final climax of the story, after mm-hmm. uh, we Kyo reveals his final form, uh, or is forced to reveal his final mm-hmm. form and, by his master, and Toro has to accept him for who yeah, he is. Yeah, and by doing that, he, she will she would not break the curse, not no. break the curse, but not like break, she she helps him. Yeah, just move on. Yeah, to... yeah. It's weird that the curse doesn't actually get broken, but it's fine. No, uh, yeah. Uh, and she decides that she wants to approach uh, Akito because Akito mm-hmm. kind of orc- orchestrated this thing to kind of like prove it's like, ha, huh, she's not as good as you all think she is because she'll still like turn like like a shun uh, Kyo in his in this form and yeah. his demon form, mm-hmm. uh, which I think is mildly understandable because if someone you knew just turned to a demon demon randomly, I think like you would give yeah. you would need a couple days to be like, yeah, yeah, that's that's a little fucked that's up. That's a little fucked up, but like, can you do dope shit? I, and what, I... what, what 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 are your moves you got? You got, you got hyper beam. <laughs> can, can you do like? low kick can you do can you do ice punch and like I wish this had been I'm sorry I'm just gonna like yeah. go over your point but what, what if you ice punch like, a, Listen like to me. a drink does that make it like cold I'm gonna fucking kill you <laughs> just, just don't <laughs> no I wouldn't like that so and it's not very well explained in the anime but I think um <clears throat> uh one of the things that like is really um like meant to be very disgusting about that form is that it smells like death Oh. And it's not super well um, explained, but Akito, baby Akito, when he first sees Kyo's form, he's like, it smells horrible. Oh, and he, I think he does say to, that. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be like the smell of like dead bodies or decay or something oh. like that. Because it's like the cat's evil spirit from that long ago still oh. decaying. That makes sense. So, and that's why it's again not very clear in the anime. That's why it looks like Toru is oh. like throwing up at sometimes oh. during that rainy episode. Because, uh, like, it smells like decaying bodies. Uh, so Kyo being kind of a dude, bro, just get, grabs the axe body spray and just... Ugh, sh- Lord, help me. Anything to mask the scent of death. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. But anyway, so... Yeah, so... Uh, she goes Toru to see Akito to be see like, I want to continue Akito. living with this family. Yeah, and, like, they, they make me happy. And then, mm-hmm. uh, and then she's like, she does the thing. I didn't think I was gonna... Because I, in my heart, I was like, don't do this, Toru. It's a bad idea. Mm-hmm. But a part of me, I don't know if I wanted to see it, mm-hmm. but she does it. She opens up her heart to Akito. Yeah. And and, and she says the thing that he has never heard before, mm-hmm. where she says, like, it must have been really hard for you. Mm-hmm. It must have hurt a lot. Yeah. You must you must be in so much pain. Yeah. And, and, and you know, she, she bows, like, super and low. She, she and she relates and, and, to him. Yeah, she re- relates to him. She's and, like, I didn't and, want my mom to die. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh! And the uh, yeah, like, like, just like you didn't want to get the curse, I didn't want my mom to die. But yeah. things sometimes happen, and, and we just have to and, live and, on. And then she ha- she says like things that I'm sure ne- Akio's probably never heard. Like I'm happy you're alive. Oh yeah. Oh, f- oh this show is so good. Mm-hmm. And then Akito, of course, never ever having experienced this kind of emotion, kind of freaks the fuck out. Fre- yeah, and, like fucking like, like tears at her hair and yeah. is, like breaking shit and, 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 yeah, and, and throwing then, shit. And then now this is one bit that like. I, I like for story reasons, but it mm-hmm. makes me feel bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, uh, Yuki and fucking Shigure uh-huh. jump to grab Akito. Yeah. Uh, 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 Hattori? 
yeah. like like Sits does, there. does not fucking. He moves move. a little bit. He's like, I'm ready to jump yeah. in, but he yeah. does and, not and, go and, to help them. And like, I, I almost, because I, you I almost wonder like, like if, the fear if in the it. manga you see like a frame of of like like his one eye just like freaking out and just like inside of that eye just mm. flashbacks of like. Like the last time this happened, yeah, like, something I, crazy I, like this happened. And, and I'm not, to say, I'm not, th- I'm not saying that like, oh, oh, Hattori's a fucking coward. No, but like at the same time, like he's, I, he's, he's been, been here before. He and... was literally kneeling there. Yeah, before and like, but you know, I, 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 I like enough the detail. pain for one for yeah. one lifetime. So ultimately, ultimately, Akita lets her continue living with them. Yeah, because she, you know, kind of understands them all in a in a way that like Akito didn't wouldn't have predicted, basically. <laughs> Uh, and the anime wraps up with Toru Toru reuniting with uh, the boys and mm-hmm. going home. Yep, and it's a very nice wrap up. Yeah, actually, it's a very nice wrap up, and I love that it that it doesn't end with like what boy is she gonna end up with. She just ends up with she's, the family because yeah. she cares about all of them, and she's sure. a fucking angel. And yeah. Toru is fucking precious, and mm-hmm. I love her so much. Now, now let's talk about the, the... Oh, no. no. Now, uh, that's not how it happened in the manga. Yeah, let me tell you, that climax scene did not happen in the manga. There's a split. And the split happens right at the instant she, like, talks to Akito, right? Yeah. Uh, The instant he gets up and she's, like, talking to him and then he freaks out and, like, grabs her and starts pulling her hair, you see his robes disheveled and you can see a bare chest. Mm. A bare male chest. Uh, In the anime. In the anime. In the manga. In the manga, it is later revealed that Akito was... Like raised and uh, and presented as male, but is actually female, all along. All along, so that is where the split off complete the complete split off because things that happen later in the manga cannot happen now. I mean, they could, but the, it's uh, not uh, het it, anymore. It, yeah, it wouldn't be het anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, Kitty, if you want to just give a quick summary of things that happen in the manga later on, uh, so. Uh, uh, so, as as well as I remember it. Uh, so uh, so we get to meet. Oh, oh, oh so just for point of reference, uh, mm-hmm. there's 26 volumes in the Fruits Basket manga. I believe so. That's... Uh, and the anime covers the first six volumes, give or take. Yeah. Uh, also, by the way, we never fucking explain it, and the fucking and the anime. I don't want to say this is a bad job because it actually does a good, great job, but it takes mm-hmm. a while to realize. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm dying. Um, mm-hmm. To understand. Yeah. The name. Why is it called the Fruits Basket? Oh yeah, it's mm. it's uh it takes about like five episodes to, yeah, explain. to explain. It's like a child game, a childhood game. That, that, like, that Toro played with the boy. And with it's the, it's basically like school. like Duck Duck Goose. Kind of yeah. Uh, but but it's it's fruit based. Yeah, and then they go Toro, you're the rice ball. And, and she's and like, oh yummy, I love rice balls, but a rice ball doesn't belong in the fruits, fruits basket. basket. So those kids were just being assholes to her. Yeah, and she wanted so desperately to be called to to join the to, the to, game. Yeah, to join the game, which I feel like it's a really good parallel with mm-hmm. uh, with uh, Kyo wanting to join the family. Yeah, and Yuki wanted to get the fuck out of the family. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, but yeah, that's why like in all the in all the like promotional material or in the merch, she's the rice ball. <laughs> yeah, that's that is why. Toru, uh, you're a rice ball. So Say yeah, it, basket. it kind of, um, it goes in halfway into volume seven, uh, the mm-hmm. anime, because you meet Hiro in volume seven. Yeah, things happen a little bit out of order, but it's It's, it's fine. fine. So there are 23 volumes of the manga. Uh, 23. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, Kitty, didn't you tell me that uh, uh, ultimately in the manga, uh, Toru ends up with Kyo? Yes. Uh, and like that, that, that happens that, relatively soon because you have volumes entirely dedicated to their relationship and the implications of. Uh... Yeah, I mean, like not really their no, no, really, relationship, no, no, yeah, yeah, but yeah, like yeah, Kyo yeah. dealing with his feelings for yeah. Toru, basically, because yeah. Toru is an oblivious little yeah. child, precious. Yeah. And if you were a fan of Yuki, guess uh, what? I, his his romantic interest gets introduced in volume uh, twelve. In volume nine. Nine. That's actually not too bad. I mean, that's like thirty. That's like. The uh, thirty-eight episodes in, yeah. So uh, gets introduced in episode in volume nine. Yeah, and she's she's just a she's a, a rand a normal a normal human girl. Yeah, who yep. who yep. joins the student council. Yep, that's it. Uh, it's a, and, I, and, and, and and like, as far as I remember in the manga, like a lot of their relationship is like him him, kind of accepting that they're both different. I think. Hmm. But like it, I don't remember it feeling natural at all. Like, I, I, like the I, way I, that Yuki opened up to Toru felt very natural. Yeah, and yeah like, I, I almost kind of feel as though like the, they they fight. I believe in the yeah. in the manga, like they they don't they're not they don't immediately click. Hmm. 
It's almost as though you shut yourself in the foot by introducing these two boys, and she can't end up with both of them unless she she did she would, but um, uh, yeah, yeah, and she of course she picked the fight and uh, Kyo, yeah. Uh, and Kyo gets a whole, like, blood thread about how somehow he was there present when, when Toru's mom died. Yeah. And that feels a little contrived, but yeah. she makes it work, apparently. Eh, kind of. Uh, and uh, there's a whole plot thread there. Of, of him misremembering mis- Misremembering what happened. And, and then understanding. And then, yeah, and then that's kind of when the curse yeah. breaks, is, like, yeah. he accepts, like, himself and she accepts him. Yeah. And, and that breaks the curse. Yeah. And, and then you get the nice shot of, like, everyone ending up with someone. Pre- pretty much. Yeah. Ki- uh, Yuki ends up with a random girl. Yeah. Uh, Yama ends up with Mine. Kisa and Hiro end up together. Kagura is on her own. I don't, I, yeah, I literally don't remember. Um, uh, and, 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 then, um, and my favorite, because we know that uh, Akito is, is now... A girl. Uh, is a girl. So uh, she has to end up with somebody. And yeah. it's Shigure. Shigure! Just randomly, he's like, "Yeah, you know, I've always wanted. I've always, I've always wanted, wanted to bang the head of the yeah, household." I've, yeah, yeah. If I've always wanted to give gifts, the head of the house, give head to the uh, household. Yeah. Listen, as somebody who loves Shigure, fuck that. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. It actually, it, it almost feels like, ugh, I have nothing to do with you two. Just fuck it. I don't know. I don't know. Just fuck. I don't know. Just he's like, grab two figures and now kiss. Yep. Um, the other, um, in the manga, we're also, of course, introduced to the horse and the rooster. Mm-hmm. Um, and the rooster actually has a subplot with Uo, where they kind of end up together. Oh. But it's like a kind of struggled relationship because the rooster is uh, Akito's actual right-hand man. Like, oh. falls around, does everything for him and stuff. So mm. so he believes he's not worthy and can't, you know, shouldn't ever have love because he's dedicated his life to Akito. <laughs> and because he also wanted to lose his eyes like Hattori. Fair. <laughs> does he just end up alone? I think they end up together. Together. No, oh, no, no. Oh, 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 Hattori. Hattori, I'm pretty sure he ends up alone. Which is a crime that, against that's humanity. Sad. So, a literal so crime against humanity. Let's just pretend that the manga didn't happen and the anime ends where it does. Like, honestly, the manga's nice, but. I, I'm actually. I, I don't want to make it seem as though, like. Like, oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, no. Um, he kind of ends up with uh, someone. Who was, um, oh, Kana's best friend. Who's Kana? His girlfriend. No! Which is, no. Oh, uh, yeah. No, that's bad. Never mind. Yeah, no. Like, walking it back. Remember, Forget the manga. Yeah, no, I... The, so if you want to watch like, Fruits listen, Basket, it's available on Hulu to watch. Like, listen, I love Fruits Basket, but, like, come on. I, I feel like it's a problem. Does Momiji In end up In the final chapter, anymore? Momiji tells Hatsuhara and Rin that he hopes to find a girlfriend as wonderful as Toru. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's fair. Kagura. Kagura is the only female member of the Zodiac... Oh, who is not shown to be injured by Akito. Oh, cool. Oh, that's nice. Um, she attends a local college living with her parents. Da, 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 da. Um, da, 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 da. After Kyo tells her he cannot love her, he, she claims to give up hope of winning him, but still loves Kyo and cares for him. When Toru admits to Rin that she loves Kyo, Kagura impulsively strikes her, saying that she's... Saying that one... Saying that the one to tell that is... To is Kyo. Oh yeah, not to Rin. So yeah, she doesn't end up with anyone either. No one. No. Oh, that. Oh wait, what about Ritsu? I must know. I'm pretty sure page. Ritsu just like finds confidence, basically, and that's that's his storyline. Uh, <laughs> mm. In the final chapter of the manga, Ritsu is giving Kagura one of his women's kimonos, has cut his hair short, and is not dressing like a girl. Fuck that. Okay, no, fuck the manga. All yeah. right, good. All right. So you know, sometimes, sometimes you know, twenty three volumes is too many. Yeah. And you just throw them in the garbage. It's fine. That's <laughs> Oof. I can't wait for you to buy it so we can uh, do yeah. the, the ritual of throwing them in the garbage. In the final chapter, and they're presumed to be a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Hero and, and Kisa end up together, Kisa. of course. Yeah. yeah. Honestly. I thought they were siblings. Oof. Uh, the only, like, manga relationship that we get to see that I actually kind of really like is uh, Toru's mom and dad. Oh. You actually get to see them meet and fall in love, and it's really Aww. cute. And you see them uh, struggle because... Uh, her dad's side of the family does not like her mom oh, at yeah, all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see a little bit like, in the anime. But you see a little bit of them being mean to bit. her, but it's kind of like, it's it's not fully explained, so it's kind of just like, why are these guys being assholes to Toru? She's just a nice yeah. girl. 
But yeah. like, because you know, Kyoko, uh, I think she drops out of high school or like just finishes middle school and doesn't,、mm. you know, do high school. Oh, yeah, she drops out of high school. That's right. They talk about it in the, in the anime. And、um, she was a part of a biker gang and was kind of like、mm. a Yankee and was very like headstrong and not very traditionally female. That, that、mm. side of the family did not accept her. Yeah. And like even to the end, like they really didn't accept her and nobody wanted to take Toru in when they both died. Yeah. So, like, I, I really love that story in the manga.、Mm. It's really sad and touching and sweet. Yeah. Yeah, and I know that we joke about it, but like a part, like, I guess a part of me would still be interested in maybe reading it just to get the, you know,、yeah. a bit of a scope in there. But this anime, as it stands,、mm-hmm. it was very fun. Great. And I really enjoyed it. It's, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of feelings. And... Yeah, very effective storytelling. And、mm-hmm. it's also funny. It's, it's also really funny. funny.、Uh, we and, laughed out loud quite and, a bit. Yeah, yeah, and it's also sweet. And you can ignore the two episodes about the, the Yuki, cl- the Yuki、uh, fan club. The only thing that I like about. Um, the first episode is、um, how gay Hana goes for, for Toru.、Mm, yeah. Like, holy shit,、yeah. my only weakness is Toru. And I'm、yeah. like, ooh, that's, that's some good、gay. shit. That's, that's some gay good、right、shit. Does... Kitty,、oh. is there anything else you want to say、mm. about. Oh, yeah.、Um... What, what You're、that? reading character bios?、Uh... I was going to say if Hana Jima. I don't think. Saki, Saki Hana, Hana. Oh, yeah, it's not the Yuki Fan Club girl. No,、I'm、that's、uh, that's Hana. Oh, no, no, oh, never mind. I'm, I'm crazy. I am wrong. Oh, that's weird. All、What? right, you want to guess who Hana ends up with? He ends up with someone? Yeah, Hana ends up with,、uh, with somebody. Who? Kyo's master. That's dumb. <laughs> She thinks he's hot. <laughs> so she goes to work in his dojo. That's dumb. <laughs> okay, no, no, you know what? Never mind. Throw all the volumes of the manga into the trash. Like, listen, I love you, Fruits Basket, but I, did, I think you went on a little long and ha- introduced too many characters and needed to wrap it up because you were a shoujo manga. Yeah. Like, I understand, but, like, it's okay. It's okay. You can stop now. No, kitty. We're gonna. No, you know, we have decided. <laughs> You know,、oh, this, this is too much work. So we're just going to have Kagura. Kagura is going to end up with. With,、oh, with the student council president! There we go! Fuck.、Uh, uh, it's, so, it's so good to have closure on these really meaningful characters, you know? To just know they end up with someone randomly at the end, you know? That, that's、mm-hmm. what closure、mm-hmm. is all about. Yep. Totally. Yep. Not yep. someone they built、yep. a meaningful relationship with throughout the manga. Yeah, no, yeah. Draco just. Marries a random girl、mm-hmm. in Slytherin. Yep. And Luna Lovegood was never heard of ever again. I mean, that's more in her character, but. Just, What do you just mean? Kinda, just disappear the fuck out no! of there. No! She's like, I'm just working on some experiments over here. No! <laughs> I like that the movie tried to fix that by、yeah. making Luna end up with Neville. Uh, that, that's actually kind of cute, though. It is cute. I like that better than Neville ends up with some random yeah, some girl. Yeah, some Hufflepuff and, girl. And becomes. It makes sense that he would become the, the greenhouse guy.、Uh, the herbology herbo- professor? Herbology professor, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that is cute because he hated herbology. And yeah, and he. No, he. Was he, bad no, at it. no, he no, 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 he, he loved it. That was、he、the only it. subject he was, was good at. Oh, that's、Less. sad. We should rewatch those movies. The、oh. last two are so sad. Oof, yeah. Oh. <sighs> I'm still bitter that they didn't show the thing with Creature. That fucking killed me. That, that was the. Like, listen, there were two points in the book, in the final book, where I like, like, teared up.、Mm-hmm. And, it, and they're both about house elves. And Creature fucking deserved that spot because that、mm-hmm. is a fucking fantastic moment. So good. But again, they,、uh, the movies hate house elves because they look really dumb, but it's fine. It's fine. Was, Fruits basket. basket. Hey there. You can watch it on Hulu. Yeah,、uh, or you can just find a DVD on it somewhere. Or you can just、yeah. check our trash can for all the manga. Oof. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> But, Kitty, I'm already putting them in. The trash already took them. God damn it. I'm going to go <laughs> chase the trash can, I guess.、Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Fair. Uh, uh... <laughs> Wait, I changed my mind on the trash. Oh, wow. It looks like Kitty, Kitty's is chasing after her waifus. <laughs>、mm. 
Uh, hey there, everyone. We're tired. It's been a long podcast. One thing we're telling you along, we're Dango Duo. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. It means a lot. Uh, and comments, recommendations, anime, you know what to do. Did you know? We have Twitter accounts uh, on the screen right now. Uh, you can follow our Twitters. Uh, Dango Duo for updates. Kitty for cute shit and girls. And me for silliness, pictures of Yanto, and writing advice. Because that's what I do. Pictures of Yanto. And also... Uh, we have an Amazon wish list. Uh, there's, there's anime on there. There's anime on there. There's also games. Uh, we'll do a video on whatever you send us if you feel so uh, generous. Yeah. Also, if you want to support us, we have a Patreon <laughs> that is helping us little by little get to the goal of never have to rely on YouTube uh, revenue ever again because YouTube is a, a hot fireball of trash. Your bell spread's happy. Oh, for a second, I thought it was dying. Yeah, no, man. Yeah, my uh, kid is holding my Tamagotchi because I'm. Cause I got you a Tamagotchi. Yeah, yeah, you got me one, and I've never had one, and it, it broke my, it, it, it fixed my heart, cause, cause mm -hmm. I was like, you got me one. I got I, like the last one. I, they were I, so I, close to selling out. I was like, Rose, Rose, hold me one. I need this. <laughs> I never had one, and I love it. I've been taking good care of my best friend. Yes, you have. Uh, Patreon. Patreon. If you want to watch your videos early, uh, get to vote on lotteries and watch videos like in advance and vote on videos and appear at the end of these videos. <laughs> Videos. You can become one of the following people by pledging to our Patreon. Amelia. Angela. Arizos. Lear. Luna. And Victoria. Yay. Thank you for your support. Yeah, that means a lot to us. Woo! Wow, You're wow, cool. Wow. You you part of the cool club. Uh, and we're done for today. Woo! 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 Tomorrow's uh. I I I, I kitty best boy. Go. In, in Fruits Basket? No, in the whole fucking universe. Of course it's Fruits Basket. Mmm, that's a hard one. Big one, Shigure. big one. Really? Yeah. Momiji's best boy. That's Momiji, fair. Ritsu, Shigure. I'll go Shigure, Momiji, Yuki. That's fair. You know what? That's fair. Hey there, everyone. What about best girl? I mean, obviously it's Toru. It's fucking Toru. <laughs> it's fucking Toru. Get the fuck out of here. No one else comes close to Toru. I really like Kisa, though. Kisa's, Kisa's nice. She's a good girl. Yeah. Kagura, though. Kagura's good, too. Hey there. We'll watch Unit Tensei someday, I promise. <laughs> we'll, we'll have modern anime on this channel someday. Don't worry. I mean, we do, but... Someday. It's fine.